What are the chances that a meteorite will fall on you? One astronomer estimated them to be 1 in 700,000. Until recently, there was no evidence that such an incident had occurred. However, three years ago, while researching Turkish archives, scientists found information about the only recorded case of this happening in Turkey in the 19th century. Nevertheless, even for such an unlikely event, scientists have already prepared several ambitious projects, from explosive charges to kamikaze spacecraft. In our today's video, we will discuss NASA technologies and more that are already capable of protecting our planet from asteroids and other celestial bodies. Let's get started. The elements of the early asteroid detection system operate in various countries and are structured similarly. The foundation of such a system is a network of ground-based telescopes connected as a whole through specialized software. These devices automatically scan the night sky in search of moving objects. When new celestial bodies are detected, the system sends a signal. For more than 10 years, NASA's Near-Earth Object Center has been monitoring the risk of collisions with near-Earth asteroids using software called Sentry. Two years ago, NASA launched a new system for tracking Earth-threatening asteroids, called Sentry-2, which was developed with the involvement of engineers from Elon Musk's company SpaceX. Unlike the old version, the new technology takes into account non-gravitational forces that influence the asteroid's trajectories. Thanks to this feature, the algorithm can accurately predict the probability of celestial bodies colliding with Earth. At the moment, approximately 28,000 near-Earth meteoroids have been discovered. Among them, 2,200 are potentially dangerous to our planet. However, there won't be an apocalypse, as scientists regularly develop various methods to protect Earth from asteroids. At the Planetary Defense Conference in 2022, a group of scientists from the University of California introduced a new method for protecting Earth from asteroids called Pulverize IT. According to this method, all celestial bodies that potentially pose a threat to our planet can be pulverized into small pieces using special explosive rods. These devices, ranging from 2 to 3 meters in length, can even carry a small nuclear charge. Their main task is to use a controlled explosion to break the approaching asteroid into harmless pieces long before it reaches Earth's atmosphere. The technology itself is extremely simple. Rockets deploy charged rods into orbit, directing them toward the approaching asteroid. Upon impact with the space rock, they detonate, shattering the object into small fragments, most of which burn up in Earth's atmosphere upon descent. Those that manage to reach the surface of the planet will not be able to cause global destruction or mass deaths. Scientists understand that the significant amount of debris created after such an explosion could still pose a threat to human structures on the planet's surface. However, this damage cannot be compared to the consequences of a larger asteroid impact, such as the 19-meter meteoroid that exploded in the sky over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk 10 years ago. While the pulverized IT technology is still in the developmental stage, the next method for protecting our planet from asteroids has already undergone real-world testing and proven its effectiveness. Two years ago, NASA and SpaceX launched the first planetary defense spacecraft double asteroid redirection test using the Falcon 9 rocket. The goal of the $330 million mission was to change the orbit of the asteroid Dimorphos. This space object, 160 meters wide, is part of the Dynamos binary system in the Apollo family and revolves around a main body measuring 750 meters in size. The distance from the asteroids to Earth was 107 million kilometers, and their orbital period was 11.92 hours. It was expected that after the impact, this period would decrease by 10 minutes. The mass of the dark probe itself was 550 kilograms. It was equipped with solar and star sensors, a Draco camera with a 0.2 centimeter aperture, and the Lycia Cube CubeSat. The latter separated from the spacecraft 10 days before the collision with the asteroid and observed the experiment. The collision with the asteroid Dimorphos occurred on September 26, 2022 at 2314. The collision speed was 24,140 kilometers per hour. The spacecraft hit the celestial body just 17 meters away from its center. After the impact, the binary system's orbital period reduced by 32 minutes, more than expected. As a result, Dimorpho's orbit lowered, bringing it several tens of meters closer to its star Didymos. The collision with the asteroid was broadcast live. DART became the first demonstration of meteoroid threat prevention technology using kinetic impact involving the collision of a massive body with an asteroid. The European Space Agency is developing a related project to assist NASA's mission. 
a spacecraft called Hera is planned to be launched next year. By 2027, it will reach the asteroid Didymos and study the consequences of its collision with the DART impactor. However, to prevent the meteorite threat, it is important to detect it in time. This is the purpose of the technology that comes next on our list. Astronomers from around the world track most of the largest and potentially deadly asteroids. However, there is one bright blind spot in the sky, located near the Sun, preventing observatories from seeing certain cosmic objects. For example, the Chelyabinsk meteorite took astronomers by surprise, as it stealthily approached from the direction of the celestial body. To prevent such surprises, the European Space Agency intends to launch a new orbital mission, Naomir. Using this technology will allow scientists to see what exactly is happening in the blind spot. The spacecraft will use a 45-centimeter telescope with a large corrected focal plane. Such a device will enable infrared vision and provide the ability to detect celestial objects measuring 20 meters and larger, which are not visible from Earth due to the bright sunlight. Naomir is currently in the early stages of mission exploration. If all goes as planned, it will be launched in seven years. However, astronomers are already taking measures to track as many celestial bodies as possible. Anyone interested can join such programs. The Minor Planet Center is the official global organization responsible for collecting observation data on asteroids, calculating their orbits, and publishing this information. MPC also manages a range of free online services for observers through which they can track the movement of celestial bodies. Four years ago, the Minor Planet Center and NASA launched the Hubble Asteroid Hunter Project. With this service, any vigilant computer user can help astronomers find tracks of new asteroids and contribute to space exploration. Recently, the media have been reporting almost weekly on the approach of dangerous celestial bodies to Earth, ranging in size from a bus, a boulder, to the Eiffel Tower. For instance, on January 11th, the 104-meter asteroid YD-48 passed close to Earth, and on January 19th, the largest asteroid of the year, 7,082 YD-48, approached the planet at the closest distance. Additionally, the asteroid, named Apophis, previously considered extremely dangerous, was rehabilitated. Discovered in 2004, it is set to approach Earth in 2029 and 2036. NASA simulated that in the event of a collision with Earth, the released energy would amount to 1,717 megatons, which is 30 times greater than the explosion of the most powerful Soviet thermonuclear bomb tested in 1961. The strength of the earthquake within a radius of 10 kilometers from the impact site could reach a magnitude of 6.5, and wind speeds would reach at least 790 meters per second. However, this is just a simulation. In reality, there will be no collision. Uphalfus will pass by and only become visible to the naked eye. Humanity is lucky once again. But will humanity always be so fortunate when huge celestial objects change their flight trajectory at the last moment? Is a rhetorical question. What do you think? If our planet faced a threat of a collision with a large celestial object, would we be able to protect it from an apocalypse? Share your opinion in the comments. You are on the Kara Show channel. See you next time.